everybody. I'm Lucky Lance, and I hope you're ready for more Yu-Gi-Oh! action. I'm really struggling right now to open up this goddamn spear! There we go. Got it. I got it open. Woo! That was difficult. But I got it. Miller High Life 32 ounce can. Give me a second here. Man, I, that last chug of beer I took went down wrong, man. I got like stuck, but I'm all right now. Almost died on camera. In the last video, I bitched about how hot it was. Okay, it's, it's 24 hours later. I made that video yesterday. It was 82 degrees while filming. Hot as hell here in Ravensdale. One day later, it's 54 degrees. It's 28 degrees colder today than it was yesterday at the same exact time. What the hell? That's quite the swing, you know. Your body can't adjust, you know. Your body's all messed up now. That, you know, now I got, instead of getting this beer to uh, cool me, I'm using the beer to warm me up. I love these 32 ounce cans of Miller. They're so good. The champagne of beers, old Miller. Huh. I wonder why they're the only people that make a 32 ounce can. You know they're putting their most garbage formula in here. They're probably making like five cents profit off each can. 32 ounce. It's obviously the bottom of the uh, of the batch that they're just pouring. That's the really cheap stuff. All right, I got a sponsor I'd like to get all to you too. Uh, it is not Shiny Cousin Jerry. He would not sponsor me. I think he gave me like a grand in the sponsorship. That's fine. Shiny Cousin Jerry, I wish you the best. You're a good friend. In case I'm a cousin, but I like him a lot. So my new sponsor is giving me $25 to help pay for the packs and the lights and the camera and all that. Some of the beer. I'm not sure if they're supposed to, but whatever they are. Uh, my new sponsor is the Green River Killer Homicide Tours. So some of you may not know, but in the 1980s in particular, the early 80s, like 81 through 83, uh, a man named Gary Ridgway went around and was killing prostitutes. I believe he killed over 50. I think he's only been convicted of like 47. He was a cold case. Couldn't find the DNA evidence, figured out who he was in 2001. Finally ending the mystery of who was the Green River Killer and why he killed so many people. But that's not what this is about. This is a tour guide group that if you're really into homicide detective, like there's so many shows on TV, they're about homicides, whether they're fictional or non-fiction. Try to figure out which one means real and which one means fake. Which one, is, is fiction real or is that fake? Is non-fiction real or is that fake? I know the answer. Do you? Anyways, uh, you can go on this tour group, you can go to the Green River or wherever he dumped the bodies and check out the old crime scenes and pretend you're like Dave Reichert, who again is another local celebrity because he's the sheriff of King County or or he, not at the time, but later on he was. He was like the lead investigator for Green River Killer. And uh, you can also reenact body dumps. So if you're really into that, you can actually pick up and throw a mannequin down the ground where Gary Ridgway threw it down on the ground. So you can check that out. And they also want to let me know, let you know that on Memorial Day weekend they're having a picnic right there in Kent by the Green River. And at the at the Memorial Day weekend they've got some grilling going on. They got uh, a sack race. They got that one race where you tie your leg to another man's leg and try to run with them. What do they call that? Uh, three-legged race, like three-legged zombie, of course. Like, uh, check out that old ass Yu-Gi-Oh card. See if anybody wants to play with that. Which actually is Unizombie. Unizombie is the original three-legged zombie. So that's a little bit of Yu-Gi-Oh fiction for you there, or lore, or whatever. And also, they're gonna watch old news clips from like Cairo Seven, King Five, and Como Four, local news stations out here in Ravensdale, Seattle area. So you can check that out. So remember, they're gonna yeah, they're gonna do some, uh, they're gonna watch some old videos. They're gonna do some racing and go do some grilling. So go on down and check out the Green River Killer Tours. You'll be educated and you'll know more about the local history and the most notorious serial killer in the entire United States history. Gary Ridgway 
killed more people than anybody else that wasn't, you know, like a, a mad shooting spree killer, like actual serial killer. <sighs> All right. Dark topic, but I got to get my money where I can get it from. What am I here for today? Well, if you read the title of the video, you know what's going on. But in case you didn't, it's one of these. A brown box. What the hell is this brown box for, you say? You know, well, I'll tell you what it is. It's sealed, obviously. I have it sealed. It's, ah, it's 100 OTS 7 packs. Yeah, the new one. You guys may have watched the new the video before this one. We're opening up a box of Tournament Pack 5. That's hell old. I got the newest one here. 100 packs because they come in 100 pack boxes now. And uh, I'm really excited. You know, I haven't opened up 100 packs of the newest OTS pack since like OTS 4, I want to say. Maybe 3, I don't remember. But I'm really excited. Uh, you know, obviously I'm going to get Ultimate Rares. Hoping to get at least 5 potentially seven. If I get more than seven, that's going to be fucking insane, but it should be like five, six, or seven. Hopefully six at least, but I guess I could get five. Uh, what do I think of the ultimate rares in this? Uh, Cosmic Cyclone is a great choice. I really like that. That's a fine, mighty fine choice, and they announced that one first, which I was suspicious and concerned because they announced Cosmic Cyclone, and everybody agrees that should be an ultimate rare, but then it's kind of like well, that must mean they got something pretty bad in the, in the brew. So, I think the next best one is Link Spider in Ultimate Rare. Um, a lot of people don't like the Link Spider. It's okay for me because I play Trickstar and I actually play two of them. So I'll take some Ultimate Rare Link Spiders. And then Herald of Orange Light is an Ultimate Rare. Don't know what the fuck happened there. Obviously, it's a collector card, which is fine. I'll keep one forever. And uh, for, I guess, World Chalice uses it too. So, uh, again, not a great set of ultimates. Uh, the last one wasn't great either with Brilliant Fusion, Invocation, and... Uh, Brilliant Fusion, Invocation, and something else. I can't remember the third one. I'm sure it'll come back to me. Obviously, it's not great because I don't remember it. Deco Talker, what am I talking about? That's like probably the best one. Jesus Christ, yeah, it's a Deco Talker. That's the best one to get. So, uh, well, the super rares are all really bad, except for Destrudo and Fossil Dig are good super rares. Uh, why a Royal Magical Libraries one? I don't know. It's a cancerous card. It should be banned, in my opinion. Pinky's up. Ugh. But, um... Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I just, eh. You know, it's another OTS pack, and they're always fun, but I'm hoping to try and get, you know, two of each ultimate would be nice out of this. Uh, see how, which super I pulled the most, too. That's something else I like to do when I open up one of these, is how many supers can I get? And uh, the question will be answered. <laughs> so anyways, guys, uh Hope you're ready for this. It's going to be a longer video. I should be able to plow through these packs pretty fast, though. They're only three-card packs. You know, there's a hundred of them. There's less of me, less cards for me to look at and bitch about. There'll probably be a few rants going on because Turner packs used to be really special. Now, in the last few, it just kind of seems like they just put a random amount of cards in there. It's like, go, get in there. And so, anyways, I uh, hope you're all ready. I'm going to go over there yonder, rip that box open, and start opening up these packs. I'm going to get a little bit drunk, 32 ounces of beer. I'm going to go see Rampage tonight with Dwayne The Rock Johnson. And uh, I'm really looking forward to that. I love Rampage as a kid. I love picking that Ralph. And then they had Rampage uh, World Tour. And uh, they had, uh, I can't remember the name, Ruby the Lobster, uh, Boris the Rhino, and I can't remember the mouse's name. And they had the alien too. And you could, un and you could unlock the original three monsters. I always picked Boris. He had the coolest special ability where he would charge and take down a whole building. That was a fun-ass game. Universal Tour was... Maybe that was Universal Tour that you got to get the old ones, too. I don't remember. No, I'm getting confused all over the place. Whatever, those games were a long time ago. Those were like 20 years ago now. 
But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go check out Rampage. It looks fun, it looks interesting, and I haven't heard anything terrible about it. It's just another generic CGI movie, so I'll go check it out. Me and my girlfriend, go, go check that out. It's gonna be really fun. I'm probably gonna get Red Robin or Panda Express beforehand, so I'm looking forward to that too. So I got a whole day's worth of stuff after I get done opening these packs and everything, so I'm looking forward to that. Anyways, guys, enough rambling. Remember, no matter the temperature outside, whether it was insanely hot yesterday or mildly cold and pouring down rain today, remember, you've always got to get drunk! All right, let's go on in here. Where are the packs at? There they are. I already opened up the box. Yep, they're, they're all there. It's deep. All right. Let's see if I can take, I'm going to take out a whole shit ton at once. All right, this is from the right side of the box. Good God Almighty, what am I got not myself into? There's the box. All right, let's see what I can get here. 100 OTS 7 packs. Come on, Cosmic Cyclones. Destru nice, first one, Destrudo. Uh, the Lost Dragon's Fissuring. I always thought it was Fissure, but it's actually Frisian. I didn't notice that until at Locals when I got the first one of these. All right, sneak peek this weekend, sneak peek tomorrow, actually. You guys excited? Flames of Destruction, sick-ass set. Looking forward to it. Why is this in here? Token Festival, Divine Punishment. I don't know why this is in here at all, because Divine Punishment was just reprinted in the structure deck before Lair of Darkness. Don't make any damn sense. <clears throat> you know, Miller is a weird-ass taste in beer. Like, it's good... But, I don't know, Wavering Eyes, Prickle Fairy, and Magical Citadel of Eddie Mion? Why? Why is this in here? What the fuck? All, most, that's what you're hear me saying for most of the supers, is why is this here? Why? So I, get a, I mean, the only ones I like, I mean, the Paleozoic ones are okay, I guess. The ones I like are Fossil Dig and, um, uh, whatever we call it. Uh, Distrudo, Jesus Christ. Lucky Chance, Paleozoic Dinomiscus. This is the one that uh, banishes the Karma Cut. I can never remember. Okay, guys, you can hold that against me, whatever you want to say. I can never remember which Paleozoic does what. I just, I can't. There's just such weird looking art on it. Token Festival. Oh, man, I'm, I'm so excited to get Insect Princess. World Legacy, World Chalice. Okay. I guess that's neat for the World Legacy or World Chalice players. Mm, yeah. OTS. Spell Power Grass. Why? Why is this here? Rare Value. Pay the Zook Morella. Now, this is the one that sends a trap card from deck, right? Yep. I remember that one because it's got a green background. Okay. I do remember that one. Let alone if you show me a picture of the ones that suck. I can't remember their names at all either, so Book of Life. Man, this card is following me everywhere. Book of Life. I believe I got an ultra rare of that, and now I've gotten a common, and the last video I was getting a rare. Book of Life is just following me everywhere. Zeradius, Cancerous Royal Magical Library card. You got a ghost over this if you're playing against an Exodia deck. If you got a ghost over, blast that Royal Magical Library, and then they're dead. Royal Magical Library. Why? God. Zombie World. Lucky Chance. Spiral Tough. I guess this one's alright. Spiral Tough. Why not? Uh, let's see. No Fossil Dig yet. That's the good super along with uh, damn old uh, Destrudo. Insect Princess. Prickle Fairy. Oh man, what is this one? See, this one the bad ones. Target 1 Banished Card Return to the Graveyard. Ugh. I don't like that at all. God, Jesus, I just dropped the pile of super rares. Give me a sec here, folks. I just, I fucked up. Oh my God, this is embarrassing. Ah, oh. oh God. God, one went really far away. Give me a second here, folks. That one, I don't know how that one got so damn far out there. Hold up. Oh God. All right, it was that stupid magical citadel. We're good. Back to the action. All right. 
Oh my god. All right. Still going here. Insect Princess, Prickle Fairy, another Magical Citadel. So far, that's the first <laughs> duplicate super I've gotten. Imagine if you got 100 OTS packs and you got the same fucking super in all 100. Can you imagine how mad you'd be? Spell Power Grass, Pitch Black Power Stone, World Legacy, World Chalice. Where's the Fossil Dig? I know you're in here. Gotta dig up the Fossil Dig. <laughs> yeah. uh, Herald of Heaven, Book of Life. Okay, I'm going to try and pronounce this name. Lee Ann Choi Lea. Well, that sounds pretty. That's like a country music star from the 60s. Lee Ann Choi Lea. Like Loretta Lynn. How many of you know who Loretta Lynn is? Go on Wikipedia and look up Loretta Lynn. She's still alive, I think. Man, I mean a lot of spell power graphs. Insect Princess. Royal Magical Library. Okay. Pitch Black Power Stone, Blowback Dre, the first one that I've gotten. Paleozoic Dinomiscus. This is, is this the one that, uh, okay, before. I just got this one, didn't I? This is the, this is Karma Cut, fuck. Why can't I remember Paleozoic cards? I don't understand. Help me. Token Feastable, Lucky Chance, and another Destrudo, nice. I'll take these all day, Destrudo. It's a good ass card. People didn't understand when it first came to TCG. Like, why is OCG running it? I don't get it. Pay half your life points. 4,000 life points. Like, you get 1,000 back with Ancient Fairy Dragon. Then you know that. Wavering Eyes. Can't believe it was a common after it was banned. Prickle Fairy. Oh, nice. Ultimate Rare Link Spider. There we go. First Ultimate Rare. Fuck yeah. Link Spider. I know people are down on them, but I want them. Uh, one normal monster. Once per turn, you can special summon one level four or lower normal monster from your hand to the zone. This card points to... Very nice. There we go. It's so refreshing to pull ultimate rares. Yeah. All right, one down. Hoping there's a few more. Zombie World, Spellfire Grass, Divine Punishment. I think. Uh, no, I, I'm gonna. What? What's the worst super in this? Probably that Magical Citadel. That's pretty rough. Like that's just. In the trash. Uh, Lucky Chance, Book of Life, Spiral Tough. What is this supposed to be? Like, what is he? Like, what? Is he supposed to be, like, Spiral Super Agent on steroids? I just don't know. I don't understand the ton. Help me out. Again, Konami, I need your help. Rare Value. I, is this the first time this has ever been reprinted? I had to look into that. Wavering Eyes, Morella. Crystal Beast is getting support in uh, Flames of Destruction. So, more Crystal Beast support. Neat. Spell Power Grass, Rare Value, and another Royal Magical Library. I can't tell how many times I've stared down Royal Magical Library. It seems to be like, a, they come in waves, you know what I'm saying? Like, I haven't played one for years, and all of a sudden you're going to play like 50. It seems, not 50, but you know, like 3 in a month. Wavering Eyes, Prickle Fairy, Divine Punishment. I like Divine Wrath. Divine Wrath's a way better card than this card. Uh, you have to have Sanctuary in the Sky. What the hell? You just get Divine Wrath and discard a card. It's the same damn thing. Well, no. I guess Divine Wrath's only monsters. Just Psalm Judgment. Pay half your life points. Nah, Psalm Judgment doesn't negate monster effects. This is negate monster summons. Zombie World, Zeratus, and Magical Citadel of Eddie Mion. Man, it's been a while since I've seen Magical Citadel. I mean, I'm talking a while. Like, I think the last time I played against that was, like, probably, like, 2013. So that's why I'm extra confused why the fuck it's here. Token Feastival, Spell Power Grass, Morella. Do people play Morella? I think so. I think I remember people playing Morella. It's certainly Donomiscus. Ugh. You know, my choices for Ultimate Rares, I forgot to mention that in the intro. I wanted to have Ultimate Rare Psalm Judgment Scapegoat. We are new Cosmic Cyclones, so I wanted Ultimate Rare uh, Scapegoat and Psalm Judgment. Book of Life, World Legacy, uh, Chalice. Why are there all so many random ass cards? Why is Pitch Black Power Stone in here? Is that supposed to help like Mythical Bees? Because it uses spell counters. 
So far only one ultimate rare. I hope this picks up in a little bit. Freckle Fairy, Insect Princess, Paleozoic, Leanne Choilia. Beautiful country scenario, the voice of an angel. Man, Loretta Lynn. I remember something where she got in trouble for saying like horny on the radio. I think she was like, she got married when she was 15 and had like three kids by the time she was 19. Herald of Heaven, Zombie World, and another Destrudo. Got a play set, nice. Where the fuck is the fossil dig? I just realized I haven't gotten a fossil dig yet either. Oh my god. The fossil digless box. Wavering Eyes, Lucky Chance, Paleozoic, Dinomiscus. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do some gambling tomorrow. I'm not going to play Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm going to go out with my folks and play some craps. Rare Value, Token Feastival, and Herald of Orange Light. There's another ultimate. Nice. When your opponent activates a monster effect, quick effect, you can send it to the graveyard and one other fairy monster from your hand to the graveyard and get the activation, and if you do, destroy it. Very nice. Worst ultimate of the set, but man, that looks so weird as an ultimate. It's only been a super and a common, I think. No, a rare. It was originally a rare. It might have been reprinted as a super. I don't remember, but nice. All right, two ultimates. Should get at least six, I'm hoping. Maybe seven. Hopefully not five. Insect Princess. Why is this here? Pitch Black Power Stone. Oh, there we go. There's the Fossil Dig. Finally. Nice. Fossil fucking dig. D -d 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 dig Champs. Remember that from uh, the show The Raccoon and Blue Jay? Regular show, I think it was called. That show's still on. Token Feastable, Lucky Chance. Another Link Spider. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Two Link Spiders. Link it up with the Link Spider. Ah. So I've got a theor theory here going that every OTS pack or tournament pack, they're going to have one. They're going to have a, uh, what the hell was that? They have one Link Monster. I heard some outside. I don't know what, the Bigfoot or something going on. Wavering Eyes. Prickle Fairy and World Legacy World Chalice, but that's my theory is that, you know, I had a Deco Talker last time. There was rumors that Link Karibo was going to be able to was actually Link Spider. Uh, if I had to pick a Link Monster that's not a high rarity already, that's, like, you know, like, you know, I don't think they're going to make a Firewall Dragon Ultimate. Well, they might, but I would pick Mrs. Radiant. Mrs. Radiant's good. Zombie World, Spell Power Grass, another Destrudo. Getting a shit ton of these. Nice. All right. Still moving on. Ah, so I throw these packs everywhere. Lucky Chance. Oh my God. Book of Life. Pezoic Morella. Some of these commons, I just I don't get it all. Like what in the hell happened here? Explanation needed. Economy. Rare value. I mean, if it's the only reprint, okay. Wavering Eyes. Spiral Tough. This actually isn't that bad. I know I said that earlier, but now I'm seeing them. Okay, I get it. So, three ultimates so far. Looking good. Prickle Fairy. Again, why? Your opponent cannot attack, attack insect monster. This card battle a monster. At the end, change that monster defense position. What? Spell Power Grass, Paleozoic, Dinomiscus. I think, honestly, all these insect cards in here are to support the uh, Legendary Duelist 2 to give Weevil more support, which. Sure, why not? Pitch Black Power Stone, Insect Princess, Magical Citadel of Eddie Mion. Sounds kind of delicious, like a filet mignon, which is Eddie Mion. You know, I've had filet mignon multiple times in my life, and I've never really, like, like been blown away by it. It's like, I, I think I like Jack in the Box more. Uh, Zeredia's Herald of Hor Heaven, Token Feastable, and yes, another Fossil Dig. That's what I'm talking about right there. Fossil fucking dig. All right. Add one level six or lower dinosaur monster from your deck to your hand. He always wondered why it's level six, and because for a long time, most dinosaurs were high level. There was not very many low level dinosaurs. Wavering Eyes, Prickle Fairy, World Chalice, World Legacy. I said its name backwards, and I'm badass because of it. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that. Originally, dinosaur monsters, I think the lowest dinosaur monster might have been a four. Pitch Black Power Stone, Lucky Chance, Divine Punishment. Forgot I was pulling those. They do look interesting as a super. What was it originally printed as? I don't even remember. I mean, my god, I've never even seen anyone play that card. Prickle Fairy, Insect Princess, Spiral Tooth. 
What if they spelled spiral tough differently? Like instead of T O U G H, what if they spelled it toof? Like T O O F, it's supposed to still be tough. Spiral tooth. Spiral tug. I don't know. Herald of Heaven, Zombie World, another fossil dig. Fuck yeah. Getting them. Okay, the last one of these that I pulled out of the box. I didn't pull out the whole right side. I just pulled out as much as my grubby hand could get in there. Wavering Eyes, Lucky Chance. Oh, another Herald of Orange Light. Okay, where are the Cosmic Cyclones? There's two Herald of Orange Lights. Where on earth is the Cosmic Cyclone? I need them. All right, how many I got left on the right side? I got to pick up the box and take a look. Eh, not enough to... All right, I'm going to grab some off the left. I guess I'll put the stuff on the right on top first. That way we know. Alright. Stack rebuilt. Here we go. Man, what the hell? You see how the box is... Ghost! Ghost! Someone call the Ghostbusters. The good Ghostbusters. One of them's dead now, though. To I guess he's got to be busted by Ghostbusters. Zombie World, the World Legacy, World Chalice. Yeah, what's his name? Uh... Hell Ramus. Hell Ramus died a couple years ago now. And in honor of him, they made a shit fucking movie. It's not because they're all girls. It's because it was just a bad... The worst character in the movie is not even one of the girls. It's fucking Chris Hemsworth, I hope. I can't believe his career survived that. Token Feastable, another Destroyer. I think that's five. Nice. But yeah, Chris Hemsworth's character in that movie is so fucking bad. I just... I can't... I can't even handle watching that. Like, the movie's bad. I get it. But then when you watch Chris Hemsworth, it's just like, oh my god, I can't, I can't take this. Pitch Black Power Stone, Divine Punishment. Like, I literally could not take Chris Hemsworth anymore in that movie. I actually saw it in theaters, because I get free movie tickets all the time from my workplace. And I went and saw it for free. Oh my fucking god, it was terrible. Rare Value, Magical Citadel of Eddie Mion. But, Jesus. Yeah, that was, that was bad. Again, it wasn't because they were girls. They could have done. They could have made the movie work if it just wasn't so bad. Prickle Fairy, Insects Princess, Paleozoic Dinomiscus. You know the thing that really bothers me about that Ghostbusters movie, the new one, is I have to always say when I refer to the original Ghostbusters, I have to say 1984 Ghostbusters. That pisses me off. You know why couldn't they just call it like Ghostbusters Three? Why do they have to make it like a reboot? I don't understand that at all. I'll always be. That's the most confusing part of that movie. Why was it a reboot? Token Feastival, Spell Power Grass, another World Legacy, World Chalice. Uh, it's just, it's mind-blowing to me. So on the right side of the box, I got four ultimates, so hopefully that means there's four more on the on the left. Boogalai, Pitch Black Power Stone, Morella. It's amazing all the Paleozoic cards were common. Except for the, uh, the, the XYZ monsters were supers, right? Yeah, they were both supers. Opabina and I can't remember the other one's name. Uh, Zombie World, Royal Magical Library. That actually like, seems to be the super I pulled the least of. Where's a Cosmic Cyclone? Fuck. I want one. That's the best one. Prickle Fairy, uh, Spell Power Grass, another Fossil Dig. Hell yeah. Zombie World, Lucky Chance, another Destrudo, cool. The best supers back to back. Ah. Yeah, I'm hoping Rampage is good. You know, I, it can't be bad. It can't be terrible. I mean, whoa, whoa. Yeah, it just it can't be. Book of Life, Zeraldus, Magical Citadel of Eddie Mion. Haven't pulled an ultimate in a while. Hoping to get one. Rare value, wavering eyes, another fossil dick. I'll take those all day. <laughs> Locals, I was talking to my teammate Wicked Will, who pulled an ultimate rare cosmic cyclone after I beat him, which, good for him, I guess. Insect princess, prickle fairy, romance library. Anyways, he told me that the super rare fossil digs were going for $20 a piece. And I was like, what the fuck? $20 a piece? And then he told me all the ultimates except for Cosmic Cyclone are like $10 a piece. But I looked at the Fossil Dig, and it's not 20 bucks, okay? Uh, Token Feasible, Herald of Heaven, Paleozoic, Leanne Choilia. 
Oh, have you heard her best known hit? My daddy slapped me. My God. Can you imagine how bad of uh, uh, publicity that would get? What was Loretta Lynn's most famous song? Coal Miner's Daughter, I think. All right. Uh, Spell Power Grass, Rare Value, Destrudo. Okay. I like the Destrudo. Don't get me wrong. Wavering Eyes, Prickle Fairy, Morella. I should start an entire band off Paleozoic names. Morella. You know, I think actually the Paleozoic names are actually real things. I'm pretty sure if I looked at Morella, it would be a real, like, like, what, what are these things supposed to be? They're supposed to be, like, actual, like, God, I keep touching these. God damn it. Actual, like, fossils or whatever. Zombie World, Herald of Heaven, Divine Wrath. Yeah, they're supposed to be, like, uh, like, ancient organisms. That's why they're on the water, you know, life started in the water. Allegedly. Token Festival, Spell Power Grass, World Legacy, World Chalice. Moving on here. About halfway through the box. Pitch Black Power Stone, Book of Life, Dinomiscus, getting a lot of Paleozoics now. Man. A lot of damn old packs here. Pitch Black Power Stone, Herald of Heaven, Fossil Dig. In a shit ton of them now. <laughs> Wavering Eyes, Rare Value, Spiral Tooth. So through all those, no ultimate rares. Yeah. All right. There's another stack. Let's see, if there's an ultimate rare in this pile. Speaking of pile, remember Gomer Pile from uh, Full Metal Jacket? That guy gets the fuck beat out of him. Paleozoic Dinomiscus, but man, he kills the sergeant, or was it the sergeant? Yeah, sergeant himself, that's brutal. Arlie Ermey's dead in real life. I mentioned him four days before he died. I have a celebrity curse. I mention a celebrity, i always concerned they're going to die within like two months. Pitch Black Power Stone, there we go! Right there, ultimate rare cosmic cyclone. Look at that, that is a beautiful, beautiful card. How about that? Cosmic Cyclone. All right. Carrying on. Nice. Oh, I forgot to read his text. Pay 1,000 light points and target one smaller trap on the field. Banish it. Pretty simple text in this day and age. Rare value, insect princess, divine punishment. So how many is that? That's uh, five. So I should get at least one more, I'm assuming. One more, maybe. I hope. Zombie World, Gatling. Wow, that's the first Gatlin Dragon. That must be the short print right there is Gatlin Dragon. Huh, how about that? Wow. Obviously, he's short printed. That's the first one I've gotten. There should be a normal monster, too. Oh, Barrel Dragon. Bar barrel Dragon and Blowback Dragon must be in here. I've gotten one Blowback. Okay, I gotta look out for the Barrel Dragon. Magical Citadel of Eddie Mion. Huh. That's cool. Lucky Chance, Spell Power Grass, Paleozoic, Leon Coelia. Remember that time where she was on the radio and she got in trouble for, uh, what the hell? Yeah, she got in trouble for saying, uh, that she liked having peaches and cream shoved down her throat. Remember that, how controversial that was when Leon Coelia did that? <laughs> People are going to start looking up Leon Coelia now. Herald of Heaven, Book of Life, Royal Magical Library. So that is five ultimates. Come on, I want another Cosmic Cyclone. At least give me two of each. Wavering Eyes, Prickle Fairy, Morella. Still rambling on here. Spell Power Grass, Rare Value, Magical Citadel of Edemion. I'm going to have to do a a counter too and see what the most common super was. They're probably all the same. Brickle Fairy, Insect Princess, Morella again. It's probably a Paleozoic. I want to say it is. I feel like I'm getting a lot of Morellas. Ah, oh, what a marathon. 
Token Feastival, Spell Power Grass, Spiral Tooth. Did you notice that all the spirals had a briefcase with them? Did anyone ever notice that? Well, at least all the human ones. Like, the, the gears didn't. Book of Lie, Pitch Flack, uh, Lian Choya. Lian Choya once famously said at a 1983 concert that the, com the communist regime in Cuba can go fuck itself, but she was seen with a Cuban flag, causing mass confusion in the media. True fact. I'm enjoying telling the story of Leon Kyoto. Rare value, zombie world, destroyed open Been a while since I got one of these, but nice. Alright. Yeah. Lucky chance, wavering eyes, dinomiscus. I I guess I guess I can make a name out of that one too. It'd be Dino. Like Dino Ross, he's the guy that ran for governor twice here, I think. Herald of Heaven, Rare Value, Royal Magical Library. I could. His name is Dino Miscus, but I don't got time for that. I'm... Fuck. Alright, Token Feastival. Is this supposed to be... Yeah, this is anti... Uh, I wonder if anyone's actually going to try this. Anti-scapegoat technology. Lucky Chance, World Legacy, World Chalice. You know, that world chalice does not look like a world chalice. I'm going to tell you right now. A chalice is like, you know, something you drink out of, right? Maybe I'm wrong. Zombie world, pitch black power stone, divine punishment. That's not as cool as divine wrath. I don't care what anyone says. All right. Last two packs from that chunk. Wavering eyes, book of life. Nice. A fossil dig. Dig. Remember the dig boomers from Gears of War 3? Dig. They'd fire that thing that would dig so it would go underneath cover and pop up and blow up. I remember. Token Festival, Insect Princess, another Destrudo. Nice. Uh yeah, how many how many boomers were there? Originally it was just the boomer. Alright, this is it. Ugh, the last batch here. Come on, at least one more ultimate. Let's throw the box on the ground. One more. One more Cosmic Cyclone is all I'm asking for. Give it to me, Konami. Spell Power Grass, Rare Value, Paleozoic, Lian Koya. You know, Lian Koya, by the late 1980s, was infamous for her great music, but also for her rampaging stunts. One time, she actually drove a Zambini through David Letterman's set. That Lian Koya, what a crazy woman. All right, still going here. Book of Life, Herald of Heaven, Royal Magical Library. Did anyone, I believe Herald of Heaven's a pretty extensive secret rare from Force of the Breaker. That's where he's from, right? Force of the Breaker's his first printing. Yeah, that makes sense. About the right time. What was a Herald of Orange Light? God, I should know this. Thunder Road, Lucky Chance, Fossil Dig. Like, Herald of Orange Light's always been kind of a popular card. Man, I don't remember. Was it Raging Battle? God, I'm gonna look this up. Insect Princess, Prickle Fairy, Spiral Tooth. Still raging here. Pitch Black Power Stone, Zeralis Heaven, and Paleozoic Dinomiscus. You guys need to go on YouTube and look up the song Rage by Attila. That song is outrageous. Rage! Rage! Rare Value, Destrudo. Good one there. Still a moving. Token Festival, Zombie World, Paleozoic Morella. I know Rad Ryan needs three super rare fossil digs, so I'll probably just sell to him for like five bucks for all three. So I've got so many. Lucky Chance, Spell Power Grass, and a third Herald of Orange Light. That is a full play set of Herald of Orange Light right there. Right there. Boom! Alright, that's six. Can I get a seven? 
Can I get a seventh ultimate rare? I want that cosmic cyclone! Book of Life, Pitch Black Power Stone, Magical Citadel, Edemion. Where the fuck are you? Remember that song by, uh, who did that song? <sighs> BYOB, bring your own bombs. I prefer bring your own beer. Uh, Lucky Chance, Wavering Eyes, Spiral Tough. System of a Down, there we go. Man, it's been a long time I heard that. When is the last time I heard a reference to System of the Down? Herald of Heaven, Rare Value, Leon Keola. By Bill Clinton's first term, Leon Keola had become feared behind, among talk show hosts. She once accidentally hanged a cat by its tail on Jay Leno's third show. It's not found on YouTube, so you just have to trust me. Leon Keola, crazy, crazy woman. Token Festival, Lucky Chance, Fossil Dig. <laughs> Man, Loretta Lynn. Her husband died a long time ago, right? His name, Duty or something. Zombie World, Pitch Black Power Stone, Dinomiscus. Alright, getting down here. Come on, let there be a cosmic cyclone. I want two of them, fuck. Wavering Eyes. Book of Life, Royal Magical Library. <clears throat> Insect Princess, Prickle Fairy, Divine Punishment. Uh, this seems like I get a lot of packs where I get both Prickle Fairy and Insect Princess. <clears throat> Spell Power Grass, Pitch Black Power Stone, Magical Citadel, Edimion. Alright, I got three packs left. Come on, Cosmic Cyclone. For God's sake, let it happen. Herald of Heaven, Book of Life, Paleozoic Morella. Fuck. All right, down the last two. Give me that Cosmic Cyclone, you ass. I want it. Spell Power Grass, Insect Princess, Spockle Tough. Here we go. It's down to this, the 100th pack. Cosmic Cyclone. I want to get two of each at least. Come on. Do it. Cosmic Cyclone. Pitch Black Power Stone. Blowback Dragon. Ah, Leon Kyola to finish it off. Ah, Leon Kyola. Kalolia. It set a Guinness World Record when she started a 412 man long line. Conga line. <laughs> you guys ever been in a conga line? It's pretty weird. All right, so I only got one Cosmic Cyclone. That sucks, but, you know, that is the chase card. It's the toughest one to pull. Got three Herald of Orange. This is actually how you're supposed to get it. So you're normally supposed to get six ultimate rares. There's one ultimate rare that is most common, which is Herald of Orange Light. They know which one is going to be the least common, uh, least favorable one. So then they have a, a mid-tier one. They have the chase one. So obviously Herald of Orange Light is obviously the least popular car, and it should be. Link Spider is played quite a bit, actually, especially in Trickstar World Chalice, and a lot of decks, honestly. Infernoids with Lair of Darkness use it. So that would be a two of them. Everyone plays Cosmic Cyclone. Not everyone, but a lot of people do. It's a really good card. I really like Cosmic Cyclone. One of my favorite new cards in the last couple years. And so it makes sense that'd be the hard card to pull. So um, anyways... Not bad. Now, I don't think I can do this on camera. I mean, I would like to go through and figure out which is the one I got the most of in terms of super rares. But um, that's probably going to take too much time and you guys will get bored. So anyways, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I know I enjoyed it with that box. Wish I could pull that second Cosmic Cyclone. But, you know, hey, I'll take what I got. You know, there ain't nothing wrong with what I got. It's expected, like I said. I did open an OTS one where I got two of each. You know, so normally you get six. One time I got seven. I think one time I got gypped and got five. Pretty mad. I'm going to be all right. <laughs> Anyways, guys, if you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more of this stuff, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified immediately 
Now, I, then I have uh, uploaded some quality content. Go ahead and uh, click that bell icon. And for whom the bell tolls, that will you know immediately I've uploaded something. Now, go ahead in the comment section and leave me what card you think should be an ultimate rare that you personally would like to see in OTS 8, the final OTS pack, what you would like to see as an ultimate rare. For me personally, Scapegoat, Solemn Judgment, and Reaper of the Cards. I've always wanted Reaper of the Cards. Uh, Abyss Dweller is another one I'd like to see, even though Abyss Dweller is far beyond its prime. But still, it always deserved one. How it always stayed a super rare, or whatever it is now, is beyond me. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Really enjoy what I do, and every like and comment I get really fills me with joy. And I hope you all enjoy this, and I'll catch you in a couple days. Peace!